Hello everybody, today's video is about sound. So how does sound get stored in computers and how do we transmit it around the world? Well, this is a speaker and what speakers do is they transmit sound through the air. Now air is just a whole bunch of particles whizzing around and what we find is that some particles are whizzing around in different directions but actually when we have sound travelling through the air we get build up of densities of particles so you can see that coming out of the speaker there's a dense bit here, here, here and here and what that comes into really is a sort of wave like thing so you get dense bits of air and normally that's what goes to our ear and that's what we hear when we get other people talking to us so how does this get into a computer? Well, we use a microphone. And the microphone picks up the dense bits of air and it records it into a signal. Now, I've just put the voltages on this as an example. I'm sure they're not correct. But this signal is represented by different levels of voltage. So as the pressure gets more, the voltage gets higher, and as the pressure gets less, the voltage gets lower. This is now inside our machine as an electrical analog signal. What we then need to do is use a process called digital, uh, analog to digital conversion, which is here. Now in analog to digital conversion, what we have is we make like a little graph. So here's the analog graph, here's the digital graph. And each and every one of those graph samples can be represented as a number, which means, guess what? Binary. Now, we've got that in a big old file. So we've just got lots and lots of samples. When I say lots and lots, in a CD, there's 44,100 samples per second. So we sample it that many times and we put those numbers into a binary file. Now that binary file can obviously be transported over the internet and somebody else can pick it up here. They then run it through a thing called a digital to analog converter. So it's reconstructing this kind of digital graph again and then we can make that into an analog signal. We then feed that into a speaker and then the speaker starts vibrating putting out those pressure waves of sound and it goes into our ear that's a terribly drawn ear okay I hope you enjoyed that I hope that's clear ask any questions if you want to